Welcome to this Wikileaks press conference live from the Ecuadorian Embassy in London on Monday the 9th of January. Tweet your questions with hashtag at AskWL. Uh, we, will beginning, we will be beginning in a few minutes. Once again, tweet your questions with hashtag at AskWL. This is an audio test for the WikiLeaks press conference. Uh, if you can hear this audio stream, please tweet loud and clear.
Welcome to this WikiLeaks press conference live from the Ecuadorian Embassy in London on Monday the 9th of January. Answering questions today will be Julian Assange, founder and editor-in-chief of WikiLeaks. Uh, again, tweet your questions with hashtag at AskWL. The press conference is scheduled to last for approximately one hour, uh, and obviously we will try and get through as many questions as we can. Uh, Mr. Assange will be with you in uh, about a minute. Okay, so welcome to this WikiLeaks press conference. Joining me today is Julian Assange, founder and editor-in-chief of WikiLeaks. Uh, good day to you, Julian. Uh, good day, James. Uh, my name is uh, Julian Assange. I'm the founder and editor of WikiLeaks. Uh, there's been quite a lot of uh, press reportage, as you're all aware, uh, following our US election uh, publications uh, and the collapse of the Hillary Clinton campaign in the election uh, and the variety of uh, US intelligence uh, comments put out anonymously through the press and finally some uh, formal statements culminating uh, in the uh, combined uh, FBI, NSA, CIA uh, report which was uh, put out uh, on Friday in an unclassified version. First of all, let's background a little bit uh, about WikiLeaks itself. Uh, I founded WikiLeaks 10 years ago. Uh, WikiLeaks uh, specializes in uh, obtaining and publishing and analyzing uh, documents of historical, political, or ethical significance, uh, preserving them before the public. Uh, we also uh, fight to be able to continue on in our work by promoting freedom of the press more generally uh, and the rights of whistleblowers uh, and sources. Uh, WikiLeaks is entirely funded by our readers uh, and publication sales uh, and that has been the case uh, for over 10 years apart from uh, the initial uh, funding which uh, came from myself personally. Uh, okay, um, so first of all, some uh, general comments. We'll get on to questions very quickly because I know that there's many uh, reporters uh, and members of the public who are deeply interested in this issue. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I have read uh, literally thousands of intelligence reports. WikiLeaks specializes uh, in publishing a wide range of information, but that includes diplomatic uh, and intelligence uh, reports. The um, report which was uh, released on Friday, uh, the principal author is the CIA, whose current head is John Brennan, uh, is not an intelligence report. Uh, it does not have the structure of intelligence report. It does not have the structure of a presidential daily brief. Uh, it is, uh, frankly, uh, quite embarrassing, uh, I think, to the reputation of the US intelligence services uh, to be putting out something that claims to be a report like that. Uh, this is uh, a press release. Uh, it is clearly designed for uh, political effect, uh, and US intelligence services have been politicized uh, by the Obama administration in the production of this report and a number of other statements. Now, that's unfortunately not surprising. We've seen that uh, in the past many times from the Gulf of Tonkin uh, to uh, the uh, outrageous uh, high confidence uh, combined uh, intelligence report, uh, which stated falsely 
uh, that there were weapons of mass destruction in Iraq, and that was the need to go uh, to war with Iraq. So I want to go through, just very briefly, uh, some of the um, unusual aspects uh, of this report. So first of all, uh, there's only about five pages uh, of analysis uh, out of the uh, some over 20 pages in the, re in the report. Uh, the perhaps bulk of the words uh, is a 2012 uh, open um, source centre uh, analysis uh, on RT, uh, which has been appended. Uh, now, the open source centre uh, was shut down, in my, in my view, a mistake. But the open source centre uh, it was a, a part of the CIA that uh, simply read the news, uh, that means, uh, and what people were saying on Twitter, open sources, not obtained from any secret information, and produced uh, reports from that. So uh, that is apparently designed to pad out uh, the report. Now, if we look at the I think is the clearest politicization of the report. It is uh, the, those parts which reference uh, uh, Russian state intentions in relation uh, to Donald Trump. Uh, no evidence of anything is presented anywhere in the report. Uh, but to me, it seems that the critical question here is whether the allegation is that Russian intelligence services themselves or people under their direction hacked the Democratic National Party and John Podesta with the intent uh, of favouring Donald Trump. Now, uh, even if you accept uh, that Russian intelligence services uh, hacked uh, Democratic Party institutions in the United States, uh, and it is normal for uh, the major intelligence services uh, to hack each other's uh, political parties, uh, major political parties on a constant basis to gain intelligence. Uh, that includes France, Russia, Israel, China, uh, and especially the United States. So even if you accepted that, uh, that Russian hackers uh, were in there, uh, and no evidence is provided itself in the report, uh, then you have to ask the question, what was the intent of those Russian hacks? Uh, and do they uh, connect to uh, our publications? Or is it simply incidental? Uh, now, as we have already stated, uh, WikiLeaks sources in relation to the John Podesta uh, emails and the DNC leak uh, are not uh, members of any government. Uh, they are not state parties. Uh, they do not uh, come from the Russian government. Uh, but um, let's look at the chronology. So the Podesta emails that we released, uh, the uh, ones that we released during the election, are uh, dated uh, up to March of this year. Um, the U.S. intelligence services uh, and the cons consultants uh, for the DNC say that Russian intelligence services started hacking uh, the Democratic uh, uh, the, the DNC uh, in 2015. Now, Trump is clearly not on the horizon 